So, um, more stuff started to unfold over the past couple of days. It is, um, it is it is mother's day 2021 may 9th at three o'clock in the morning or so I turned on the news and there was another cyber attack. An oil pipeline was um, attacked. Now, a few days ago, I tried to call a security company and um, try to figure out some of this from a halfway professional You know, the funny part is, is here I am saying all this shit, and the first phone call, just as a certain point rolls around, all of a sudden, couldn't hear a word. They couldn't, they, they, the, the whole microphone thing in the phone. So then, I call back, and the person tries the same thing, and all of a sudden, microphones get shut off. Both of these phone calls I have on video. Never stopped rolling the video. And a few days after I made that phone call, all of a sudden, another major cyber attack goes down. Over the past few days, I was thinking about one of my first friends I ever had. Interesting friend. And as I started to try to remember every single thing, conversation, this, that, everything, I went through a few small emotions. But I also found so much interesting truth to back up my own theories and my own proof to myself. Because that's who it matters to, me. I feel bad though, because I remember... The few times me and this person hung out... When we were very young. We'd sit there and... Really, we would just sit there. There was really, we, we, we really didn't do too much other than just talk, hang out and talk. I remember making fun of him and him making fun of me and it's what we did. One of the very last times I seen him 
something he made me say. It's funny. It's funny because it's like, it's like he was such a jerk. And this is a person who, if they see this video, it's not so much that I'm trying to insult them any more than what I already have throughout the course of the past 20 years, not realizing that that was my friend. What's even more interesting is, you know, I, I still remember it, man. If you see this video, I want to title it, and, I'm, and at the same time, there's just so much more. There's so much to this. This is, this is so crazy. You were like my, you were one of my first friends I ever had. And you went on to lead a country. And I went on to, wow. This is really fucking crazy shit, man. You know, you know, it's like when I signed those FBI, CIA, DOJ contracts and they started talking to me about Wow. You know, by that time I I completely forgot about my first friend, one of my first friends. And I remember, you know, it's like, it's like I remember the swords, two swords, two swords. The one sword was like a broadsword, had a red gem in the sword. That was so cool. The second sword I forgot about until I seen the video and I'm like, wow, the handle. Somehow the sword I was going to be set up with or killed by. So as I'm thinking of this, and I'm saying to myself, like, things just don't add up, because then... I checked into... When uh, the two people passed away and the one died right after the contracts, didn't even know. You know, I still remember, I still remember the last time that I remember, I remember speaking to you on the phone. It was about video games and girls. I got you in trouble with the man that passed away. I don't know whether it was the older one, your grandpa, or I just know I got you in trouble and I didn't know. I really didn't know. And then I see that right at the time that a whole bunch of crazy stuff started happening in my life, you know, I sat with your dad I didn't even know I was sitting with your dad. 
and I made myself look like an ass again. I mean, there was a lot of heavy drugging involved, you know? It was kind of like, Anthony is pretty much just, like, just fucking anything to move forward in his brain that's being completely fucking... Uh, you have no idea. They, they they hit me with some... You, maybe you do. Maybe you do. I, I don't know, but why would you... No. Nah, man. They were hitting me with so much of that shit. That's why. That's why I know how how to really truly grow a boondanga tree. Yeah, it wasn't boondanga that they were hitting me with. I thought it was. Definitely thought it was. No, no, no. They they were hitting me with fucking with chemotherapy, the 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 first shit. They were hitting me with that fucking crap. Basically radioactive diamond dust. Nanoparticles. And on the lowest level, probably asbestos. Because, you know, kind of goes like hand in hand. And my brain had no sleep in it for, I don't even know how long. So I went back and tried to figure out how long that had been going on for. That's crazy, man. It was going on all the way back to when we were friends. Just not as much. So I see that your dad passes away. At a certain time period, and around about that same time period, all this crazy shit starts to go down in my life. And I know that I met your dad around about that time. I sat in a car with him. You know, all the people I met in life, I had absolutely almost no idea who they were. <laughs> my friend or my acquaintance. That's why it's interesting, like, the stuff that I would want to say right now is about so much stuff. You know, it's like, it's like, I'm sitting here making fun of you for over 20 something years. And I didn't even remember. I remembered you. But I didn't remember you like that. Like it wasn't it wasn't instantaneous. And now that I'm remembering some other very, very key detailed stuff, it's like, wow. Wow. Information that may or may not be worthy to you. All the stuff that I've been through. Everything. I was set up my entire life. And even now that I am fully aware of every single little fucking thing, I have no idea who to even try to go to. Fucking fake payments. What the fuck am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with it? Nothing. I'm going to fucking do nothing with this. My bank accounts. Millions, if not billions of dollars by now. I don't even know how to fucking access them.
paperwork, my contracts located in at least one place, possibly two places. And I have, and that's, and that's one place in possible enemy territory, second place in somewhat interesting circumstances. I could barely walk a mile and a half, two miles to the store and back before my feet fucking are just fucking like you need to fucking get off your feet for like the next <sighs> I remember that phone call getting you in trouble I remember you telling me off because I, I, I kind of remembered you but I didn't remember you like there was just so much shit going on in my life That I was being told to forget about. Forget forget this. Forget this happened. Forget this happened. Forget this happened. Everybody telling me forget, 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 forget. So I fucking forgot. And yet I, I just it's just the whole point. It's like You know, it's funny, it's like it's like the whole time I'm sitting there making fun of you and it was something that you told me. On those days when we would just sit there and make fun of one another. And I just... Just didn't even remember that until I remembered it. And... I remember getting you in trouble with your... Your grandpa or your dad. I think it was your dad. Your grandpa was uh, interesting. Very interesting. But I remember that sword and I'm saying to myself, like, really, like, I'm like, wow. It's what that shit did to my fucking bones, man. I'm so fucking, it, it, it's like, even if I wanted to be fucking, it, it's like they couldn't even fix my fucking elbow or my fucking knee. My back's all fucked up. But that's, that's not even, I, that, that fucking shit. If that was the only thing that was fucking wrong, man, I could fucking, I could still fucking. The bones, it's the bones fucking, even, even when I was locked up just recently, right? I fucking knocked, I punched the fucking wall, I punched the fucking wall and knocked the motherfucking communications out for the entire jail. Yes, I almost broke my arm. It definitely did. I, I played it off real well. Almost broke my fucking arm hitting that fucking wall. Every fucking communication. Done. At least give fucking Hercules credit where fucking Hercules fucking deserves credit. You know, all I have to do is move my arm and I can feel, I can feel the bones wanting to snap. That's how fucking pathetic this whole thing is because that shit was hitting they were hitting me with that shit from the time we were friends, bro. What were we, like, five? Six? You went on to become a leader of a country. They drag your name through the fucking mud every chance they get. 
And we all know that, I mean, you're not perfect, bro, but I mean, Jesus Christ. But it's the stuff that I'm saying to myself, like, I know, and then it's like, to help an enemy, to help a friend, to help a friend, to help an enemy. Who the fuck has ever been my friend? And I think sitting next to your dad, and I'm saying, wow, man, it's like I made myself look like a real jackass to him. I don't even remember what I did. I just, I just remember it. I just remember it. That's it. So it's like, wow, he was right there around about that time period. All this weird shit was going down on the news and it's like it's like even I mean everybody everybody was like what the fuck's going on all the shit that I'm saying sounds crazy it's like dude bro I was on probation they fucking they there was like 10 of them in the office I was like oh I'm being arrested it was like it was like what's going on I was like what's going on they were like Ooh, what's going on? We we thought you would tell us. Uh, we know you're not crazy. It's like, well, it's like, like, give me a fucking trophy or something, man. Give me a pin. Give me, give me something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because everybody else thinks I'm fucking crazy. But at least that was fucking. You know, that was, that was, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, the building was there, and now it's not. I mean, it was uh, not there, and now it is. I mean, it was... Uh, whatever, man. Whatever, man. You know... <laughs> you know how crazy this is with all the shit... With all the shit that I said already in... <laughs> all those videos. It's just like, wow. You want, you want to know... <coughs> I buy a hundred, whole bunch of movies. It's like, um, this one movie I'm watching because uh, I just thought it was such a good movie back then when I seen it, when I wasn't thinking about all this crazy shit in my fucking head. Great fucking movie, I thought, you know. The movie was called Shooter. Shooter. And I'm sitting here asking myself, I'm like, wow. You know. Huh. You know. The one time. That I held a sniper rifle. was from the guy that now I realize was the guy in the backyard that day at the Perez house. The one sniper rifle that I held was owned by that guy years later. I hold this rifle, and I'm saying to myself, wow, that's interesting, it's cool. They were, they were really, really, really planning to fucking set me up every fucking breath I took, huh? So I'm watching the movie Shooter and I'm saying to myself, wow, you know, the girl in that movie looks a whole lot like my freaking sister. I mean, a little bit heavier because my sister's real tiny, but very, very much so. Looks like my sister. I'm saying to myself, it's like, wow, that fucking sniper rifle. And the guy, I'm like, where the fuck? Like, bingo. Backyard of the... Per he lifted me up over the fence. Yeah. 
lifted me, my cousin Matthew, my cousin Jeremy, or Jonathan, whoever the fuck was there, they lifted us, he was the one that lifted us over the fence. Wow. And then all those years later, he became my neighbor. Wow. So then it's like, you know, it's like I remembered the whole rifle thing and I remembered this and that was right before Trump became president, right? And I started to fucking tell my friend who was supposedly at the time either working in the FBI, CIA, or the DOJ. I'm, you know, I never really got a clear answer to that, but um, could have been a little bit more than that, actually. Now that I'm seeing a couple things really line up. And uh, when I told him that, all of a sudden, I started to pop into my head. I'm like, they're going for the fucking president. They're going for the president, blah, blah, blah. And um, that's when there was a guy that started to fucking wave a gun right before Obama left office it wasn't obviously it wasn't a sniper rifle but there was a supposed attempt to access the grounds which they started to call uh, a possible breach of security a possible attempt on the president's life and then the whole time I'm talking into the phone to my friend who's now dead I don't even know to tell you the truth I don't even know is he dead is he not dead who knows is he trying to kill me is he not trying to kill me it's probably trying to set me to fuck up because it goes all the way back there too it's like wow wow But it's like, it's like, I remember the sword, that handle to that sword was so cool. I remembered, I remembered the other sword. There was two swords. I forgot about the other sword. I forgot about the sword with the freaking cool handle. The other sword with the red gem. Makes me wonder though, why was your dad there? Right before he supposedly died. I don't think, I don't think he's hated me. I don't know if he's hated me or not hated me. I just don't know. I just know that, um, it seemed like I upset him. At the same time, round about the same time, close to the same time, that's when Paul Flores and Ruben Flores pulled up right in front of me with that fucking rusted out truck. Same area. Telling me they were going to kill me. Didn't even realize who the fuck they were. Didn't even care. You know? Not realizing, hey look man, like I signed a fucking witness statement against these guys fucking which I'm thinking was somewhat fucking coerced out of it. like 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 there's some real fucking touchy 
things there because it's like, you know something, it's like I thought I was doing the right thing. The fucking guy said he was going to set me and my family up, which also was his family, and I was just like, you just told me about a fucking murder and where you put the body, and you just told me that you're going to set me and everybody else, you know, <coughs> and that was to get me to sign the witness protection form, which I didn't want to sign, but then I was like, well, if this is going to go in, they said, they said something along the lines like, oh, well, if you, if you, if you do that, no, I know that they said this. They said that if I didn't sign the witness protection form, then I couldn't submit the witness statement. It was never about the witness statement. It was about me signing the witness protection form. So this way, all my fucking police records, all of everything, would have to go through the fucking WITSEC program, where I met Gerald Scher through my mom. Me and Gerald Scher, Scher had a very interesting talk. Very interesting stuff that I forgot completely about. And I find it real interesting that Gerald Scher died on August 25th, 2020. And my mom passed away on August 12th, 2020. Carolyn Strouch, who passed away as Carolyn Famiglin. Gerald Scher passed away on August 25th, 2020, and my mom was rushed into a hospital not even days after that. Not even days. Three day, two, not even two days. Five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. Then a cyber attack happens. I tried to call the FBI and 